one of the other big things that uh, I think is going to be really big for Resonite um, is with some of the data model updates where we introduce something called the domain system. So right now in Resonite, you know, we are in a single world. And, you know, this world is like, it's, it's like its own self-contained thing. It's like, you know, its own session. Uh, what it makes harder is if you want to build really big worlds, you know, worlds where you can travel between them, like, you know, physically. Um, so what is going to happen is that um, each world, it's, it's going to become something called a domain. And the domain, you know, it can be, it can be just the world. It can be, you know, just like it is right now. But... We're going to add a mechanism where you can have multiple domains, essentially multiple kind of sessions loaded with mechanisms for them to like interact with each other. So for example, say like, you know, we are, you know, in this session and this is, you know, there's a session, you know, there's like, there's like stuff, you know, there's like people, they have like objects and so on. Uh, and this is own session as it is now, you know, like that's, that's, that's me, that's Cyro, because I'm taller. <laughs> it's like you know the, the, the cubes we have created. Um, I um, what you'll be able to do is you know say there's say this is like you know session A you know session A you'll be able to like make another session you know that's not normally would be completely separate you know and there's like some other people here and they have all their own stuff they have they have spheres and this is session one. You know, this session one, you'll be like, if these two sessions communicate, you'll be able to say these sessions are actually physically next to each other. And oh, I'm just going to redraw. And there's you know, more people and they have, they have the spheres and maybe a triangle. So these are physically next to each other. So if you are in the session, we can, you know, we can see this one. And if we just, if we just, you know, go and walk, oh, this is all too good. No. <laughs> let's say there's a third person <laughs> and the person just you know <laughs> walks over here it's going to seamlessly transition them to the other session same way like you know people in this session they can see this session so able to like you know kind of put them like kind of next to each other and you can you know put another one here you could you could make you know a grid system if you want to but you know kind of similar like you know to uh, second life where you can kind of travel between multiple grids but the whole idea is like you'll be able to make sessions um, you can make them relate to each other in any way you want. It doesn't have to be in a grid. Uh, there's going to be like, you know, a system to kind of do it. So what we could do instead um, is instead of the session being right next to this one, you know, maybe, maybe say like, you know, there's like a little table in this one. Oh, this is all together. Say there's a li like little, little desk. And there's, you know, this tiny house on it. And in there's an idea, you know, you can scale down. And if you scale down and go here, this little house on this desk is actually whole other session. You know, and this is session, let's say session house. So you can actually travel into the session, which has, you know, its own stuff, you know, there's like furniture, you know, and there's stuff and there's people, you know, and there's like other things. This is all contained within this house and it's actually, the session is actually just shrunk down, like, you know, within this. So there's an entire world in this house that you can enter by shrinking down and going in there. Um, and you essentially just say, you know, this session, which is designed to be, you know, part of the house is like, you know, is like this big and this like you know and positioned like to this object in this other session. And this isn't going to you know, handle the transitions for you. And this works you know, the other way. Say you know here we build like you know some kind of mechanism like a spaceship. You know we build like I can do like nice spaceship real quick. Um, we build like you know this little like thing, and we fly out. This kind of looks like a weird fish. Um, we fly out. <laughs> this session is actually part of like a much bigger session, which, you know, maybe has the entire planet and we can, you know, fly around. And, you know, this thing is its own session, which has, you know, lots of little sessions in there that you can kind of go into. So you can like, you know, you can travel kind of between scales and kind of achieve, you know, almost like infinite, infinite universe. Um, 
and you know and maybe like this goes even further maybe like you know the whole galaxy you know there's a whole galaxy where some bits you know there are like the solar systems are their own sessions so you can you know travel that way uh, and this session, you know, just it has some kind of galaxy visual and some things that like tie it into its own like subsessions, which then have their own subsessions, and you can like go as deep, you know, as you want, and construct like really physically big and complex kind of worlds. Uh, and that's gonna be, you know, like the whole kind of domain system. Uh, and I think that's gonna like be allowed to build like you know way way bigger things that we can do right now. There's also another thing, because uh, one mechanism I want to have for this is uh, for sessions to also travel into other sessions. Or I sh shouldn't say sessions, but domains. Um, so say this spaceship that we built, that's actually its own, that is own, you know, session or its own domain. This session, like, you know, rocket. So we actually, we enter this one, and then we travel, and we actually leave this session, and, you know, it travels into another one. We we arrive into some other session. You know, there's, like, some people here, and we arrive here. You know, in the, I'm sick of drawing this. Um, we arrive here in the session, and we step out. We actually, have, like, you know, are now also in this session. So you can have, like, the vehicle, the inside of the vehicle can be its own session that can then travel to another one and you can step out and we are within that other session. Um, there's another mechanism that's going to be part of this and part of the domain, um, domain system, is where each domain, it has, you know, can have like multiple sort of sections to it. And there's like, you know, the section that's the inside of it. This is, you know, that has all the furniture, it has all of the details, you know, every little bit. Uh, but then also it has its own sort of external representation, you know, like, for example, the spaceship. So the session has, like, you know, external representation, which is just the spaceship hull. Um, so when this session enters another one, it doesn't, like, uh, every, everyone in this session doesn't actually need to load inside of this. They only see its external representation to other users which is, you know, much simplified, so it doesn't take too much performance. And it's only, you know, if they stepped inside, they would actually load it. So this kind of system, it's going to be, it's sort of like LOD for the entire, like, you know, kind of regions. And this will work, you know, regardless of whether, you know, it's a session that kind of moves from each other, or if it's like, you know, a chunk-based system, if you have like, uh, or grid-based system. Because like, if you have a grid, if like, you can load grids, uh, chunks that are like, you know, really far away, and they instead of like, you know, loading the whole thing, they have like their own kind of LOD representation that you see if you, if you see them from distance and it loads the more detailed one once you kind of get close. So this, I believe like is going to be like kind of one of the game changer mechanisms for Resonite once uh, we're able to kind of work on this one because it's going to turn like, you know, the platform from being able to build just, you know, individual worlds, which you'll still be able to do. If you really want to just individual worlds, nothing forces you into the system. You know, you can have just isolated session, isolated domain, don't allow any others in. But it's going to provide a tool um, to build things that are like, you know, much bigger, where you can like, you know, travel to other problems, you can travel, you know, to microscopic levels, you can, tr you can have multiple people go, you know, into a TARDIS or spaceship and fly somewhere else, you know, and then like, arrive at some other session and like, you know, step out and talk with people there. It's gonna open up like a lot more possibilities on how people interact on Resonite and how they interact on this platform. And it's gonna open up more possibilities for the kinds of experiences you can build in here and make them kind of more connected. Like, even if you take, you know, this place, um, I'm going to switch the camera. Uh, you know, if you take this place, um, let me actually go some POV. You see, we're kind of like in the sky and there's like an island over there. And right now, that is fake. Like, if I actually go into it, um, if I go no clip and I fly to this, you see this is fake. It's just a billboard. And this is like a you know, very typical for small worlds, but like if you if you actually go, you know, into things like it, it just kind of it breaks the immersion. It's okay if I look at it from distance, but like once 
once I fly over there and see it's fake, it kind of breaks it. With this system, that island over there, it can actually be on session, and if I fly over it, it's gonna load it and I can talk with the people that are there. With a system that's handling, you know, the external representation, some of the stuff that's actually happening on the island can be, you know, maybe maybe it's gonna like, you know, render periodically render a new preview. So if somebody spawns something big, you know, on the island, it ends up in the preview and can I can see it from distance. I probably wanna be like to see it like, you know, moving fully in real time, but I'll get some idea what's going on the island. With mechanisms to also communicate between the domains, you know, there can be stuff like, for example, the, you know, the time of the day that we have right here, that can sort of be like a, a meta domain that kind of covers multiple domains. It's sort of like a layer that's around all of them. And that doesn't like really contain much on itself, but it kind of has, you know, some shared information for all of these. So like, no matter which one you are in, there's some basic stuff, like maybe there's, you know, I mean, it wouldn't make sense for time of the day since there's like galaxy, but like say there's you know, some kind of global announcement thing. So this is, you know, part of the meta domain and this can communicate with every single one of these. So like any of these can, you know, send a signal to this and it's going to go to all of these. So no matter where you are, you know, that, that can trigger things to happen. Uh -huh. I would like, you know, we kind of want to script them. So. I think this is probably a good point to kind of stop this big ramble because like I can go kind of deep, but <laughs> I did want to cover this one. This is like one of the ideas I'm like really excited for. It's actually also ties, you know, into the things I was talking earlier with the Terran system, because Terran system, uh, you know, it might not even be contained in an individual session that can be, you know, part of the sort of meta session where if you're walking multiple chunks, the Terran system is actually being handled by the meta session where, you know, um, like where the Terran system itself has its own like chunk system and it's kind of handling that. Or maybe um, there actually is Terran system in, in, in each individual chunk, but there's uh, gonna be mechanisms for, you know, for them to communicate. Because you need it for other things too. Like if you have like, you know, some cubes at physics and you want them to transfer from one to the other, they need a mechanism to kind of communicate between the domains. So there's a lot of kind of long possibilities a lot of things are going to be also figured out, but this is the general gist of the, like, you know, the big plan of, like, where we want to take Resonite in the future and to be able to build worlds, like, you know, way bigger than you can do anywhere else. So, thank you very much, you know, for the for question. I, I think I rambled for a good amount, like, we should probably start getting to some other questions, but um, at least, you know, I got my... Yeah. I got my ramble, you know, for this episode of Resonite out of the way, which means the, the one I was planning, I might leave for another time so thank you very much for checking the folks out here and thank you very much for listening i'll probably split this one into multiple videos on each of the sections so just so it's not too long